without further ado, we're going to let Kelsey work on this for a few minutes, and I'll come back and do some kid stuff in a second. Thanks so much. All right, so today we're going to use a lot of different fruits and vegetables to um, make a mango confetti salsa. And like she said, the recipe is on your flyer there on the back. Um, we're going to use a lot of different things um, and a lot of different tools to make things quicker and easier because I know that's what stops me from using um, fresh fruits and vegetables a lot of the time is the time that is put into it. So um, first we're going to use some mango. Use a whole mango and I've already gone ahead and used my mango wedger to cut it. It's very simple like an apple wedger and there are different ones at different stores. Um, and then I go ahead and peel off the, the peel with usually a more dull knife because sometimes it's so slippery I get nervous using a sharp knife on mango. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in my manual food processor here. If I can. I've used my little prep bowl so I already have everything already um, measured out and it was a lot easier. I also use these a lot of the time to um, cut up fruit and have them in snacks already set out. I do this especially with onion because I only like to have to chop up onions one time in the beginning of the week because it brings flames to my eyes so quickly. I'm sure it does that for everyone. Um, and so I'll go ahead and use the whole onion in the beginning so that um, I can save the rest for the end of the week and I'll just use a veggie wedger, veggie wedger that um, cuts everything into six pieces and then put it in here and dice everything up real quick so it's all contained and everything's set apart from my eyes and I'll put it in a container in the beginning. I try and at the beginning of the week um, find some recipes that use the same um, vegetables so that I don't have to get a ton of ingredients and waste anything because hardly ever do you find a recipe where you use an entire onion and we're not big onion fans anyway. So um, here's my already diced onion that I'm adding in. I also just put in a half of a um, orange bell pepper that's already cut up in smaller pieces but not quite diced. And then I'm going to put in a half of a red bell pepper that's already, I've already gotten out the seeds and I've already cut up that into smaller pieces as well so that I can fit in my little bowls here. And then this is hamaka. This is one that probably a lot of you aren't familiar with. I wasn't familiar with it until recently either. Um, it's a root vegetable that grows off of a Mexican vine. It's known as the Mexican potato. And this is a really healthy alternative to a lot of things. Um, it's used in place of water chestnuts a lot of the time. It's more economical that way. Um, and you can also use it as something sweet and crunchy to add to a salad, especially a fruit salad. Um, there are less than 50 calories in a cup of this. So it's good to replace instead of mashed potatoes. You can broil it, you can bake it. Um, I cut it into slices, like fry shaped slices. And you can put some lime juice and cayenne pepper on there and bake them. Um, and I've gone ahead and chopped those up. It's a very hard um, thing to actually um, cut up because it's very fibrousy on the outside. So I cut off the top and bottom and make a flat surface. And then I went ahead and used my very sharp knife on this one to peel off the fiber seed um, outside. So I'm chopping everything up in here. What's nice is I'm dicing and mixing at the same time. And this takes a lot of dicing. And you can do it to whatever consistency you want. If you want some big chunky pieces, you can stop pretty soon. But I like it very small. And I've already diced up that red onion too so that it spreads throughout. This is nice because it's not electronic. And sorry, I'm not very strong. It's just taking a little while. All right, so there we go. I'm going to add this maca in here as well to spread that in throughout. And I used a, a little less than half of a full hamaka um, and cut it up ahead of time. It's a small one, though. I had never heard of a hamaka or a jicama. Jicama. Um, jicama maybe that's what it's it's jicama, is it not? Or maybe jicama. Okay, I'm getting to There you go. Jicama. Look, all of these groceries came from Publix, so they're normal in every grocery store, mm -hmm. okay? It's a root vegetable. I, I found it. I asked the guy for jicama. Clearly, I didn't know. <laughs> and I got a, it's like asking for, you know, guacamole fruit as opposed to avocado. You live and you learn. But the yeah. jicama is available at just regular grocery stores in the produce section. Oh, that's right. So it's C first and then M. That's how I was spelling it, too. I kept going, hamaka, jicama. Yeah, it's, it, it's jicama. And thank you, April. I don't see where April is, but... Uh, I'm the yes, only one to know. It's, it's brown on the outside, and it looks just like a water chestnut on the inside. It's this nice white color on the inside. It's like a pearl color. Um, but on the outside, it's brown. It looks like a potato, really, but like a really um, rooty potato. Right. 
And it's also very inexpensive relative yeah. to other vegetables. So we didn't put a, a, a recipe with a lot of expensive stuff. This mm -hmm. is stuff that is seasonal. I mean, kikama is available all year long because it's a root vegetable. But like the mango, it's on sale in a lot of the grocery stores and a lot of the flyers this week. So just something that you guys should realize. Okay. okay. We get those a lot. So now I'm cutting up my lime. Usually I use a citrus press. Um, I'm just going to use my hands for this one. This is, you know, there's not any seeds, so it's very easy. Um, it's really up to you how much you want to put in. I think the recipe calls for two tablespoons. I'm just using a half of a lime here. Getting out as much as I can. And then I'm going to add some salt. And then I'm going to add some southwestern seasoning. You can also use a chili lime rub, anything that you really want. This usually comes with some jalapeno as well, but not everybody likes that much heat. So we did it without, don't worry. Um, and, and this just adds a little bit more. The, the jicama is very good with um, any kind of spice, like a cilantro or cayenne pepper is really good with it. Um, and it just goes really well with that heat to even out the sweetness and crunchiness of, of that vegetable. I'm just mixing this up, and here you have your mango confetti salsa, a great little addition to your summer parties. Here you go. Okay. Thanks, Kelsey.